everyone, everyone from Special Olympics Iowa. My name is Logan Anderson, the owner of All Strong Fitness. I provide personal training services for individuals with special needs, whether this is through virtual means, through a computer on Zoom, or I can also come to your home in person. I help you improve your health, independence, and quality of life. But what we're going to talk about today is a topic that I think is super important for not only yourself, but the others around you. And that is some simple tips on how to encourage your friends and family on getting into fitness. Living with individuals who don't fully appreciate a life of living healthy is really uh, unfortunate, not only for yourself, but also them. It's unfortunate for you because it might be a little more challenging for you to live healthier, and it's unfortunate for them because you want them to live as long and as healthy as they can as well. I'm going to go through a couple simple tips that you can keep in mind when you are trying to encourage and help facilitate your loved ones and potentially friends into getting into fitness. The first tip that I'm going to offer is to be understanding with them. Understand that your loved one is likely uncomfortable with the situation of changing their habits and becoming healthier themselves. Knowing this will help you work with them better. In addition to this, be understanding that they would have already changed their healthy habits if they knew what to do. So um, understanding this as well will help you in turn. If it was easy for them to get into health and wellness, they wouldn't be needing your help to begin with. One thing that you can do is to be respectful to them. The last thing that they want to feel when they're getting into health and wellness is to be judged or shamed for the things that you're doing. So make sure that if they are not sticking to their plan quite as hard as you may stick to your health and wellness plan, not to judge them and still encourage them. When they do stick to their plan, however, offer them praise and encouragement that they're doing an excellent job in their overall process. The next thing that you can do when helping your loved ones get into health and wellness is to be patient with them. We should constantly remind both them and ourselves that this takes a lot of time and trial and error to potentially change our habits when it comes to improving our health and wellness. The thing that you can do is to remind them that when you started changing your habits that it was kind of difficult for you as well when you first started. This can help give them a peace of mind but also remind yourself that you had to be patient and that when helping them you should be patient as well. Of course when getting individuals to either exercise or eat a little bit healthier you need to find different things that either the individual enjoys, feels that they're good at, and also has a sense of purpose and fulfillment into their life. If they don't hit these three criteria, it's not really going to offer much uh, internal motivation for them to keep with it. So for example, if an individual that is your family member, friend, or loved one doesn't really like to run, and you're kind of forcing running upon them as the only way to get into health and wellness, this is likely not going to jive well, and they're not going to want to change that habit. However, if they used to play soccer in high school, and they really enjoy that, adding soccer into their life and potentially playing with them will go a much longer way in improving their health and wellness habits. Last and really important thing that I want to remind you is that it is not your job to completely change them. In other words, if this individual is not somebody who is willing to make changes already in their life, any effort that you put into it will be almost useless. So make sure that this individual is ready to change because nothing that you say or can do can get them to that point. Once they do express that they do want to change their health and wellness habits, that's when you can step in and offer some of these tips to both encourage them and help them along the way. Really appreciate you guys letting me share some information with you on how to change your health and wellness habits for your loved ones. If you are interested about doing some personal training, either virtual or in home with myself, Logan, 
feel free to reach out to allstrongfitnessllc at gmail.com to ask for more questions. Otherwise, you can also visit our website at allstrongfitness.org for more information as well. Thanks again, Special Olympics athletes, for letting me come on here, and we'll see you next time.